Namaste everyone, I am Gyan and you are watching the session 5 of Java and Web, User Defined Data Types. In this video, we will learn about the data members and instance variables of a class. This class contains two variables, integer i and float f. These two variables are called data members of the class add. The data members may or may not be initialized. Here in this case, the data members are initialized. Here the class main is the user of the class add. The class main is creating an object of the type class add. We know that when we create an object of a class, then its data member gets copied into the object. The object is also called an instance of the class and the data members of the class gets replicated into the object. That's why these data members are called instance variables. So here i and f are the members of the class add, known as the data members of class add. The class main is the user of the class add. The class main also has a member. The function main means method main is called the member function of the class main. The user of the class add that is class main is using the instance variables of used class that is class add inside it. And those instance variables are used inside the method main. Finally inside the method main we are using those two instance variables i and f to get final output that is 9.7. This is a task for you to apply this code practically in a Java program. We have already seen this slide in the previous session. If you declare a variable inside the class which is not inside any method of the class then this variable is called instance variable. But if you declare a variable inside a class and write a static word before it then the variable becomes a static variable. We will see later about the meaning, purpose and use of the static variables. When we declare a variable inside a method then this variable is called the local variable. So we have three kinds of variable inside a class, instance variable, static variable and local variable. The instance variables will be replicated inside each new object of the class first. Means if you have 10 objects of the class first, then inside all the 10 objects we will have a variable whose name is a and which contains the value 1. So the instance variables are different for different objects of the same class. But if we declare a variable as a static, then the common variable b will be created for all the 10 objects. The location of the variable b will be not inside the object of the class, but the location of the variable b will be somewhere else. We will see about it later. And as we already know that the location of the local variable is inside the stack frame of the given method. Here we have created two objects of the class add. The reference of the one object has been stored into the reference variable a1. And the reference of other object has been stored into the reference variable a2. So the reference variable a1 contains the reference contains the address of this object and the reference variable a2 contains the address contains the reference of this object. Both objects have different i and f you can see here. These two objects are called different instance of the class add. In the similar way the integer literal 3 and integer literal 4 are called different instances of the integer. So these two objects are the different instances of the class add and both objects have different instance variables i and f. Here we are printing the value of a1.i. The value a1.i prints the value of the instance variable i of an object whose address is stored into the reference variable a1. So printing a1.i prints the instance variable i of an object whose address is stored into the reference variable a1. Similarly a1.f prints the instance variable f of an object whose address is stored into the reference variable a1. So this line will print a1.i is equal to 2 and a1.f is equal to 4.7. And in this line we print a2.i is equal to 2 and a2.f is equal to 4.7. Let me execute this code practically. Open kelsey.java and this is the same code as we seen. Let me save and compile this code. Java C, kelsey.java. It compiles fine. Then run it Java main. We have to pass the class name main because the class name main contains the method main. It runs fine printing a1.i is equal to 2, a1.f is equal to 4.7 and a2.i is equal to 2, a2.f is equal to 4.7. An instance variable is a variable which is created with an instance that is object of the class. In the previous examples variables i and f are the instance variables of objects of the class add. Instance variables are object level variables can be created and operated separately for each object. That is there will be separate i and separate f for each created object of class add. We can access the instance variable of an object by using its reference variable. If the reference variable of a object is obj and the instance variable of the class is i 
Then we can access the instance variable i of an object whose address is stored into the reference variable obj as obj.i. In the previous example, variables a1 and a2 were local variables, but the variables i and f were the instance variables. You can see here the variables a1 and a2 are the local variables in the stack frame of the method main. But the variables i and f are the instance variables. i and f are different in different objects. The instance variables gets created with its objects and gets destroyed with its objects. So the scope of instance variables are same as object. The instance variables are stored as the part of objects. We will continue our discussion about the instance variables in the next video. But till now in the web series Java and web, something we are doing which are not a standard way to do. We are using more than one classes in the same Java file, which is not good. We must use single class per file. The way we are naming our identifiers is not a standard. We must should follow standard coding rules. Miss there is a standard way of doing the things. Miss there is a standard way of naming a class. There is a standard way of naming a method. There is a standard way of naming a variable, etc. We must should have some methods in our class add. We should not use and update instance variables i and f just using objects that is a1 and a2 from some other class that is main. We should use proper methods for it. If you see here in the example, we are accessing the instance variables i and f of objects whose addresses are stored in the variables a1 and a2 as a1.i and a1.f, a2.i and a2.f. This is not a good way to do so. We should not be able to access the instance variables of some other class by using just object. The class add should have a method as the member of the class by using which we should access the variables i and f in other class. Later we will apply these standards in our coding. These standards are not programmatic mistake. Miss compiler and JVM will not generate any error. But these standards are considered as professional ways of programming. That's all for this video guys. Don't forget to like and share this video. Subscribe this channel if you are new and leave your valuable comments in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.